G'day Westy here. Okay, I'm going to give you a rundown on how to set up your transmitter in Phoenix RC from a fresh config and uh, this is basically using a, a DX7SE. There's been heaps and heaps and heaps of discussion over it and confusion over it so I thought I'd show you. There's a picture, moving picture, sent, it tells a million words. The picture says a thousand. Um, movie says a million basically it's a lot easier to understand sometimes um, okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to configure your radio first um, this is a general thing um, and it worked for mine I did a lot of mucking about to figure it out so I thought I'd just do it so anyway what we'll do is um, in this one up you're going to go into your whatever, whatever transmitter you're using uh, spectrum or whatever you need to go into your model settings and I'm going to do that by um, going to select scroll down and power up and I'll scroll down so you can see um, okay so what I'm going to do I've got a fresh config here I'll prove it by resetting the data so it's got zero seconds on the clock this config and I'm going to press the up button no I'm not <laughs> just tricking um, I've got to change it to a heli config And then I'm going to um, name it dollar dollar dollar. You can name it sim, whatever you like, just so that you can recognise it. Um, press the down key. So um, you want a single servo servo normal. Um, I leave mine with OX2. To aux 2 and gear to gear because it allows me to run my idle up switch and my throttle hold my idle up switch I can run off the, off the normal idle up switch over here this one and my uh, throttle hold I run off this switch here um, that's the only two that seem to work and give me the channel availability so Okay, I'll just move this back into position again. Alright, so I need to change that back to aux 2. Okay. Um, so now I leave the throttle recovery for an active. And that's all you do, basically. So now I'm going to go into the actual configuration settings itself. Back into the base model. And I'm going to go into this, the menus, and I'm going to I want to go into DR and Expo. So I will select that. Now I'm going to change my aileron because this is how I like to set it up to a um, positive Expo of 20%. That's how I find it most stable. You might need more if you're new. Um, change your rudder, leave your rudder, your rudder linear, leave your, your dual rates alone. Elevator, change that to positive 20 as well. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. I, I don't change anything else. Um, other people do. So I've left all the base curves exactly as they are. Alright, so... Um, just exit out of here and that's the radio done okay so now when I turn it on it's set up that's my heli config you, you'll have sim or something like that in there for for your own purposes I, I haven't got time to do that I'll do that later you can, you can change the name as you like so now what I'm doing I've got my wireless um, my little wireless controller set up here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug that in. That's a, just, a, just a normal um, wireless controller. So that light there is flashing. I've got it set up on the right switch settings for wireless, the middle one, and um, Phoenix RC. And I've got my little orange um, 6 channel DSM2 RX for my Spectrum. Okay, so um, as you can see on the screen here, the uh, I'll just get back down here. 
sorry guys. Okay, as you can see on the screen here, we've got um, the heli and your sticks are all over the place, see? They're all, all over the place. So what you've got to do is you've actually got to go in and do calibration. To do that, you've got to put your throttle stick at mid, at mid stick, and everything else should be, all your trim, sub trims should be zero, uh, centered. Um, that little line, the dark line across there is my battery power, power, how much is left. Okay, so let's go back into your system, your transmitter, and calibrate. Okay, so everything should be at mid stick, and calibrate. Okay, go next. Move, so you, all your switches should be down and back, and then go next, sticks in the center, next, and then just mix your sticks, okay, and then you move your switches, okay, I've got that ox, uh, my gear switch is doing, um, channel 6 and my idle up should be doing one but it's not now for some reason okay so I've only got one switch working oh that's alright though I'll just use that for idle up for this uh, for the purposes of this um, little sesh so we'll just go next Move your switch, one that works, um, and then go finish. Okay, so now you, there's no, there's nothing working on this stick here, much properly. So what we need to do is go to uh, your controls, uh, your controls, and this is where I'm going to create my new one. It's a new profile. DX7 SE wireless. Okay, I'm going to go to advanced setup straight away and go next. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm basically going to start at the top, it's on the detailed section. Go general, unmapped, move your throttle. Okay, that's channel 1 and 5. For some reason, channel 5 is picking it up. Not too sure what's going on there. Okay, anyway. anyway. So just channel 1, and that should automatically work. Uh, oh, okay, I need to unmap it. Hold it down. Okay, so throttle's working. And then you want to go right down the bottom to your fixed wing and go left and right engine channel 1 so both of those should work now right so go back up to the top come down to collective pitch you want to have channel 1 doing that also so the collective pitch and throttle should work together like so so you have positive pitch okay so let's um, you can muck around with this stuff I'm just doing the helicopter at the moment <coughs> so excuse me so we'll go to the helicopter collective pitch uh, cyclic pitch what we want to do is um, cyclic pitch is your elevator so what we want to do is move the elevator and that's ch moving channel 2 as you can see there so move channel 2 up and down I'm going to tick on <coughs> revert, invert that switch so when I'm, and just, you'll see see what happens in a minute. Um, cyclic roll, that's your, your aileron. So click on the unmapped and then move it. The aileron, channel 4 is moving. Move that one. Channel 4, okay, I'm going to change that as well. Tail rotor, unmapped, move your, your rudder. Channel 3, okay, we'll leave that as it is for now and see what happens. Um, throttle hold. What I'm going to do is throttle hold. I've got. Uh, I'm going to set that up on channel six. So when I click it, throttle hold comes up. Idle, idle up. I'm going to leave that switch on. Idle up. When I click channel six, I'm going to invert that. 
and that means when I switch throttle hold on idle up is going to go off and vice versa so when I turn it off the um, idle up is going to come on alright and that's and that's that's all I'm doing so now I can just go finish and finish and as you can see the controls are working left right okay that looks like it's going to work correctly because as I'm moving the sticks it's doing the right thing on the actual controller on the screen so I'm just going to test it ah no my rudder's incorrect my rudder's going the wrong way so I'm going to need to go back into system your controls edit profile go down to rudder tail, tail and tail rotor and then invert it finished finished and now that's correct now. Now when I move it left, it's doing the right thing. So I'm just going to give it a quick test. So we'll take it up, spin it around. Yes, left is left, right's right. Great. And um, cyclic's doing exactly what it should be doing. We'll check the inversion, make sure it actually flips over and holds its own ground. And yes, it does. Okay, that's good. So now check the throttle hold, make sure the throttle hold works properly. Yeah, that all works good. Excellent. So that's basically it. Um, you can muck around with your settings. I had mine set up so that my idle up worked on the idle up switch, and I'm just going to have to have a play with that and figure out what I did to actually get that to work. Um, but apart from that, that's it, guys. Cool. Thanks for watching.